What's up guys, my name is Echo, and welcome back to episode 4 of this Minecraft series. Now you're probably very confused as to why there's another portal right here. I mean, you're probably not, but I'm gonna explain it anyways. Basically what happened was that I already recorded in episode 4, and what happened was I got another portal, I went to the nether, and I was gonna, I was gonna look at all these cool new biomes, cause I'm playing in snapshot, like, 20W10A, I think it's called. Anyways, I was going to go to the new biomes, I was going to get so much cool stuff, and it didn't work out that way. First of all, I died in the first, I'd say, 30 seconds of getting into there, because there was a really tall tree that I fell off of. Second of all, the actual blocks are kind of lame. Like, I spent so much time in the nether to get, what, some nether grass? And third of all, there's only one biome, it's like the blue tree biome. That, it's only that biome for like so long. I had to go so far just to find the red tree biome. And also when I was edi editing the video, it was just so lame. I was so boring. So I decided to just scrap it and I would explain it in this video. As you read the title, we're going to be trying to make an enchanting table today. What we're going to do is we're going to make a cow, cow farm first for leather. Then we're going to make bookshelves and a sugarcane farm and stuff like that. Then we'll make an enchanting table and hopefully get to level 30 and enchant some tools. Anyways, let's get right into it. So here's a design I see a lot of. And I made exactly enough fences. Nice. So basically, you would have something like this. You would put carpets on top of here. So you can just easily walk in. But with the carpets on top of fences, they're this weird, like, game thing that when you try to jump over fences with carpets on top of them, you can just get over them. Like, see, I can't go over this fence. But if there was a carpet on top of it, I could get over it. It's a little hard to find cows here because I've killed every cow in the area. But I, I do see sheep. And I need their wool to make carpets. <gasps> okay. Alright, I do see a cow. And I seem very surprised by that, but... Yeah, it's not even very far away. No. No. Alright, here we go. Now that they're in here we can feed them okay guys i am back here in my um skeleton spawner place and i've got a good idea i'm gonna need a lot more wheat to breed all these cows and stuff so i'm gonna make a wheat farm and and all the bones i can get from the skeletons i'll make into bone meal to grow all the wheat really fast nice look how easy it is to kill these skeletons Whoa. Alright, wow, look at this. There's already somewhat of a wheat farm growing right here. Let me just get a little bit of bone meal. I need a lot more than that. Okay, guys, I'm just bone mealing my wheat farm I made uh, right here. My house is right there, and I made one down here. Okay, there was a little bit of open space. I'm not gonna have enough bone meal for the whole thing, but that's okay. It's okay because this is plenty of wheat. And also, it's gonna grow even without bone meal. So another part of the plan is to feed all these uh, baby, baby cows right here so they'll grow up way quicker. And then I can just breed them again, and then I can get a lot of leather and stuff. Speaking of which, I already have nine. What I'm building right here is just a sugarcane farm, and I'll grow sugarcane along the sides. Like, you know, right here. Uh-oh, my sword just broke. Alright, well that's enough killing cows anyways. So what I'm doing here in the desert is I'm going along this river to find sugarcane. Like, there's some right there. Oh my gosh, there's a village over there. Do you see that way off in the distance? I can see one of the houses to it. That's pretty cool. What? 
And there's another desert village right there. I think. Yeah, it has that, like, desert house. This is amazing. Ooh, and I found some cows over here. I just need a lot of leather, that's all. And what the heck? There's a villager on top of that tree. How did that happen? There we go. There's another one here. Okay. Don't worry, I'll save you. Hooray! Ooh, and there's even more cows. You see, this, this village is a lot better than the one I have. But don't worry, because... But the problem is, it is on a hill, so it would be really hard to build a wall around it. Okay, with all this paper and stuff, let's see how many books I can make. Surprisingly, I have more leather than I do paper. Anyways, let's see. 12 books? That can make a grand total of... 4 bookshelves. I need at least 15 bookshelves to get a level 3 enchantment. Well, I will do what I said I was going to do in this video, which is make an enchanting table. Okay, here's the two diamonds. Now let's make it. Here's the four obsidian, the two diamonds, and the book. Whoops. There we go. Now let's put it down here. I'll put it, like, right there. And let's enchant something. I need lapis, don't I? Okay, let's see what I can do. Sharpness 2, sharpness 1. Alright, I guess I'll go with sharpness 2. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. What did we do in this episode? Well, we um, got some bones, we made a wheat farm, we made a cow farm, and uh, we made an enchanting table as well as a few bookshelves. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Echo, and goodbye.